How would you like two extra hours every single week? Today I'm going to talk about three key issues you as a mobile developer face and how you can solve them using Fastlane. So I'm incredibly excited to be here today. In case you missed the keynote, Fastlane is now part of Fabric. Fastlane is a set of open source command line tools that help you automate all aspects of testing and deploying your application. It first started out as an iOS-only developer tool, but as of today, you can use it for Android projects as well. Fastlane includes nine separate tools that help you automate tedious tasks like creating provisioning profiles, building application, uh, and generating screenshots. Fastlane itself is a tool that connects all these tools and third-party tools into one workflow, so you can easily automate the whole process. So we don't have time to go into detail to all of these tools. So let's focus on three common issues you've probably experienced in the past and how you can solve them using Fastlane. So first, I will talk about generating beautiful screenshots in different languages on different device types. Then we will quickly talk about code signing and provisioning profiles. And finally, how you can automate the whole process. So every time you publish a new application, you have to generate screenshots and then upload them to iTunes Connect. You have to do the same thing every time you change the design of your application, every time you add a new language, or every time you add support for a new device type. So it is really hard to do screenshots right. And just to give you an idea, if you support 10 languages with five device types, with each five screenshots, you end up with 250 screenshots you have to first generate and then upload to iTunes Connect. So a good thing there is a tool called Snapshot. Snapshot uses the new UI testing, which was just recently introduced by Apple. So you provide a UI test automation file, which is based on Objective-C or Swift, which tells Snapshot how to navigate in your app and where to take the screenshots. So how does this look like in action? Once Fastlane is set up, all you have to do is enter Snapshot in the command line. Snapshot will automatically detect your project settings so you don't have to think about it. The great thing is that you can do something else while your computer generates the screenshots for you. So all this runs in the background. Once everything is done, you can upload all the generated screenshots using a tool called Deliver. So you can see the simulator running there in the background. So it's rotating. You, it is tapping somewhere. And here we go. So after a snapshot is finished executing, it will generate a nice HTML-based summary with a great overview of how your app looks in different languages and different device types. This is super useful if you want to, set it to like, send it to a translation service and also to see how your app looks on different device types and languages. So, but now to our favorite topic, which is provision profiles. So raise your hands. Who of you saw this dialog here before? So pretty much everyone. And we all love that dialog. So how can we build and sign our application from the command line the right way? So to properly code sign our application, we first need a code signing identity with a certificate and a private key. So we can use call we can use a tool called SEAT that does that for us. So it will make sure to have a valid code signing identity installed on the local machine. SI. As the name already tells, it deals with provisioning profiles. <laughs> so you can use SI in combination with SEAT to make sure you have a valid code signing identity which matches the provisioning, uh, valid code signing identity which matches the provisioning profile you want to use. So once you have a provisioning profile and a code signing identity, you can use a tool called Chum to build and sign, or sign your application. And you will end up with a signed IPA file ready to be used for the App Store or a better testing service. So how does this look like when you execute it? You just enter these commands in the terminal, and that's it. Of course, there are more options available. You can pass more parameters. But usually, this, the defaults are pretty useful. And this looks like a lot of work, always entering these commands. So this brings us to our next topic, automatic deployment. So think about the following use case. Your boss or your uh, project manager wants the latest version of your application on the, on the iPhone to show it to the clients. So you would then go ahead and do all these steps to 
successfully like distribute a new build, you have to make sure to increment the version number, commit this, push it back to GitHub, make sure you have a valid provisioning profile, build it, upload it. So all these things, you know about it. So how can we automate this and reduce all this to a push of a button? Well, with Fastlane, you can. Fastlane uses a so-called fast file, which is the configuration file that contains all information needed to deploy your application. So you define which steps to run, in what order, and Fastlane will make sure to execute them. If one of the steps fail, the whole deployment will stop. So how does the configuration file look like from our previous example? First of all, we define a lane on the top of the file. This is the beta lane. We can define as many lanes as we want to support different environments. So the first three lines describe how to increment the version number, commit the version bump, and then finally push it all back to the remote Git service. Next up, we want to build and sign our application. So you're already familiar with this combination. Make sure we have a valid code signing identity, a matching provisioning profile, and then finally build and sign our application. And finally, we can upload the build to a, a beta testing service like Crashlytics Beta and send off a message to our Slack room that the new build is ready. So the great thing about Fastlane is that it comes with so many built-in integrations, like HipChat, Slack, sending emails, Git Actions, and so on. So no matter what tools you're already using, Fastlane has you covered. And in case an integration isn't available yet, you can easily extend Fastlane to fit your needs. So if you take a look at the Fastlane configuration file, how does Fastlane, how does Jim know which provisioning profile to use? How does Crashlytics know where it can find the IPA file? So these are all things Fastlane takes care of you. So Fastlane will pass on information from one build step to the next one, so you don't have to think about it and end up with this really nice and clean configuration file. So you just finished writing this file. So how can you actually run it? Well, you just run Fastlane beta. So let's say we want to deploy a new version to the App Store. So we define a different lane, which is called Fastlane iOS release. It will use Trim to actually build our application and then go up, goes ahead and uses Pilot to upload the thing to, to test flight to iTunes Connect. As you can see, Fastlane prints out every command it executes. So it's fully transparent of what's going on, and you always know what Fastlane is doing right now. So, yeah. Uh, after, after the execution is completed, you get this nice table summary to see how long your build process actually took. So this was a very short introduction of what you can do with Fastlane and how it helps you save, save a lot of time during development and deployment. Fastlane supports all kinds of setups, no matter what tools you're already using or how complex your application is. You can find more information on fastlane.tools with a guide on how to get started. I will be around the full day, so feel free to ask me anything. Thank you.